Here we have another problem that is set up pretty much the exact same way. We're given a slope and a point and we're supposed to write the equation of the line. Well remember, anytime you're given um, a, a directions that say write the equation of a line, I want you to automatically be thinking of this formula. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 is that is our writing equations formula. I'm going to go ahead and do the x1, y1 right above my x and y values so that I know what to plug in. So now here we're going to have y minus the y1 value is a negative 1 equals m is a negative 1 third and this would be x minus our x1 value we've labeled as being 2. Up to that point, it's really just a matter of plugging numbers in their proper place. Now, we need to clean things up. This double negative is really a positive, so that would be y plus 1 equals, and you know what, I'm going to go ahead and distribute this out in this step, so that I don't have to do two steps. So negative one-third times x would be negative one-third x, and negative one-third times negative two would be positive two-thirds. Now we can go ahead and subtract one from both sides. So we would have y equals negative one-third x, and two-thirds minus one, well, Instead of saying minus 1, we really need a common denominator there. And that common denominator here is going to have to be a 3. So how am I going to rewrite 1 as something over 3? Well, that would have to be 3 over 3. So 2 over 3 minus 3 over 3 would have to be a negative 1 third. So this is our equation of our line in slope-intercept form, but remember we started with point-slope and it ended in slope-intercept form. It's just a matter of solving for y. Now we could go ahead and graph this. Our um, slope-intercept form here is usually the best for graphing, but it will be a little bit more difficult to graph this y-intercept of negative one-third. We can still graph it, though, by going right back to the original. Because we have a point and we have a slope. And as long as we have that, we can graph the line no problem. Our point here is at 2, negative 1. So that would be this point right here. And then our slope, oops, our slope here is negative 1 third. Remember, slope is rise over run. So since this is negative, I like to keep those together on the top. So let's rise down 1. So I'm going to go down 1 from that point and run 3 units. 1, 2, 3. That would put me right here at this point. So now I could connect the dots and hopefully if you have a a nice straight edge, your line is going to be a whole lot nicer than my line will be, and that's okay. So this is how we go from one step to the other. Now, if they had asked us to actually write this as a standard form instead of as a slope-intercept form, well, we would have had to continue on. We would have had to add one-third x to both sides which would have given us one-third x plus y equals negative one-third. And then we would have had to have gotten rid of our fractions by multiplying everything by three. So our final answer would be the threes would cancel here. So that would be x plus three y equals negative one. That would be in standard form. So you have to really pay attention not only to what their directions are. If it says write the equation of a line, we always start with this formula. But then it's going to tell you what they want their answer in, slope-intercept or in standard form. So you have to know how to finish it out.